Public art is an asset to the community and the landscapes of the City of St. Paul. Public art provides many benefits. Art can be a landmark or an attraction. The Peanuts characters' statues attracted thousands of people to St. Paul each year. Public art can honor an event, a culture, a person, or a group of people like the Czech Immigrant Memorial Gate, located at the North High Bridge Park, right next to that big green chair. This sculpture honors the Czech and Slavonic immigrants and their families that have lived and worked in the West End of St. Paul since the 1860s. It incorporates historic salvage materials, including a baptismal gate from the St. Stanislaus Skaska Catholic Church and granite curbstones and pavers from city streets. This piece illustrates several themes. The pylons from granite curbstones and pavers identify the space and the park, both as a gateway to the West End and a transition to a better life. The baptismal gate honors the role of the Church of St. Stanislaus Skaska in supporting the community. All of these statues and monuments have a story behind them. Like the girl on Dolphin and Goose and Boy on Turtle by Nick Ligarios, located at Leighton Park. Part of Nick Ligarios' Dreams of Our Children series illustrates a longing to live in harmony with nature. As the sculptor explained, I wanted to create a work of art with a subject that would have universal appeal as well as be pleasing to the eye. We all have dreams as children and at this tender age did not distinguish those dreams on the basis of race, gender, or economic status. Longing to fly, swim, or ride with creatures of this earth can be interpreted as a desire to live in harmony with nature. I feel we need to express these concepts as an example for our children and a reminder to ourselves. The New York Eagle, created in 1890, is located at the Summit Overlook Park. Louis St. Gaudens carved the eagle from marble and later made a bronze casting. The sculpture originally adorned the New York Life Building, which was demolished in 1967. Between 1967 and 1999, the sculpture became the property of each new building owner. In 1999, Public Art St. Paul secured the sculpture. Most St. Paul residents have driven by and seen the Soldiers and Sailors Monument at Summit Park, right across from the cathedral. But have you ever gone to the park to learn what it's all about? The artist John K. Daniels created this in honor of Josias R. King, the first Minnesotan to volunteer to fight for the Union in the Civil War. The Grand Army of the Republic commissioned this statue, which commemorates all of the brave soldiers of the war. Its cost was $9,000. King died on February 11, 1916 in St. Paul, 13 years after the dedication of the monument. A couple of well-known fountains in St. Paul are the Schiffman Fountain at Como Park. In 1897, Dr. Rudolf Schiffman, one of the original members of the park board, traveled to Barcelona, Spain, where he first saw the original fountain. Delighted with the sculpture, he ordered a replica for St. Paul. Another popular fountain can be found at Rice Park, titled The Source. Alonzo Hauser created this statue, donated by the Women's Institute of St. Paul, to combine the city's historical past with the contemporary spirit of the day. Another real nice place to relax and enjoy some quiet time would be out at Lake Phelan at the Phelan Poetry Park. This piece of art is simply called Book Benches. However, it does have a dual purpose. Yep, sitting. Public art enhances public gardens and creates focal points in a landscape. Many public art pieces in St. Paul feature beautiful landscaping. The public art in St. Paul helps to preserve memories and history, tell stories and signify that art is an important asset to the city and its landscapes and residents. There are 39 pieces of public art, and each piece has specific importance and purpose to St. Paul. For more information, go to stpaul.gov, type in public art, and there you will find a list of all the pieces of art and a map with all of their locations. We invite you to enjoy these pieces of public art that are found throughout the most livable city in America.